So now let's talk about what are EKS managed node groups. So whenever you create a worker nodes, you have two options, either create them as a part of managed node group or either create the worker nodes as a part of self-managed node groups. So we will be discussing about EKS managed node groups in this particular section. Okay, so on the screen, you can see that there is control plane, which is being managed by the AWS behind the hood. And this is the EKS VPC, which is also been taken care by the EKS. And you cannot see this VPC in your AWS account, right? So this is like a span across three availability zones, like HCD is being spanned across these three AGs. And you have two API server, which are spanned across these two AGs. So this is by default, highly available. And this is a customer VPC that customer will create and this is like they have shown the two managed node groups which are created as a part of this EKS cluster. So the networking communication will be established by this NLV. Okay. So if I talk about EKS managed node group, so in simple terms, EKS will manage, create and manages the node group for you. So whenever you create a managed node group, an auto scaling group will be created behind the hood, which has been taken care by EKS only. Okay. And now you, what you can do, you can also use your own custom launch template for greater level of flexibility and customization when deploying the managed nodes. For example, like you can define custom arguments with kubelet when you can also use your own custom AMI. So where there are two options, whether to use EKS optimized AMI or whether to use your own custom AMI. So the advantage you get while deploying managed node group with EKS optimized AMI is that that EKS will manage all the critical CVs and security patches onto that particular AMI. So if any critical vulnerability is reported, so it is the responsibility of EKS team to roll out the newer patched AMI version for that vulnerability. Okay. But if you are using your own custom AMI, then you need to take care of everything for all the patching stuff to make sure that it is vulnerability free. So this is something that's the responsibility of customer in case it is he is using the custom AMI okay and like there are no additional cost when you are using EKS managed node group you only pay for the AWS resources that you provision and as I said that uh, you can also like you can create a managed node group using the EKS console using EKS CTL using uh, IAC tools like Terraform or CloudFormation okay and the nodes which are spinned up as a part of managed node group, they are automatically tagged for auto discovery by cluster auto scaler. So in the demo section, I'm going to show you what are those tags. So the every node in the managed node group gets tagged. Okay. So that when you use cluster auto scaler to auto scale the worker nodes in your EKS cluster, they can be easily discovered by the EKS. So they can be, you can launch EKS managed node group in both public and private subnets. And if you're launching it in a public subnet, then you need to enable the map public IP on launch option for your instances to successfully join the cluster. So that is all about the managed node groups. I hope this makes sense. And yeah, in the next, uh, in the next video, we will be talking about self-managed node groups. So I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.